Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, privateer Amphibian provides update. Also famed Tuskegee Airmen is celebrating a milestone birthday. And Kentucky Civil Air Patrol air crews flying post-tornado assessment missions. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Privateer Amphibian provides update. The Privateer Amphibian, a clean sheet design made to improve amphibious aircraft, has seen delays in its flight testing program owing to a number of bureaucratic requirements and agency decisions that have led to an exasperated crew and increasing cost of compliance for the fledgling company. The amphibian is the result of inventor John Meekins' quest to purchase a modern seaplane. After test flying several aircraft, he found each to have some measure of compromise in safety or performance unsuited to the modern era. Meekin saw a niche unserved by current offerings, embarking on the amphibian with retired Boeing configuration and structures engineer Bill Husa to design a suitable prototype. The design is promising, bringing together a series of domestic producers and firms to create a test aircraft in 2018. Throughout 2020 and beyond, however, Privateer has faced considerable trouble in their dealings with the local FAA office. Meekins has detailed the delays experienced in the aircraft's testing regimen. Beginning after their airworthiness certificate was granted in 2018, they conducted 20-plus successful test flights and racked up to 27 hours. As the cert reached expiration in 2019, the FAA notified the company that it was granted in the wrong category and demanded the company start the process from scratch in order to receive another temporary everyone. After the break, JetBlue diversifies gateway program hiring. Details after these messages. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher, or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Welcome back with so much news coming out of the aviation industry. We're going to be summarizing some shorter stories in this next segment we call Around the Patch. So let's go ahead and start with JetBlue diversifies gateway program hiring. JetBlue announced its new hiring pipeline, JetBlue Gateways. The initiative is designed to meet the growing need for aviation professionals from aviators to AMTs. Their program focuses on offering a range of pathways into the industry, while also opening the door to more candidates from underrepresented communities, including women and people of color. The Gateways program offers seven separate education and training paths that lead to employment as a JetBlue pilot or maintenance technician. PWI's IceLite receives PMA approval. PWI has received parts manufacturer approval for its LED ice light for installation on a range of Beechcraft and Cessna aircraft. The light is slated to provide 100,000 hours of service life, a vast difference over stock incandescent bulbs at 165 hours. The light provides 210 more lumens than similar replacements, enhancing the ability of the aircrew to gauge the formation of ice formation on the aircraft. 
American Airlines scales back for summer 2022. Boeing's production woes with its upcoming 787 Dreamliner have caused another unforeseen issue for customers, as American Airlines announced cutbacks on international flights in the summer of 2022. The largest carrier in the United States expected to have some of the next generation top-of-the-line airliners nearly a year ago. With their fleet in place to accept the new aircraft, the second they are available. Of course, like so many lessons learned in our new cost-cutting just-in-time economy, when things go wrong, the knock-on effects travel far and wide. Titan's T-51A Stunning Mustang Replica Preparing to build up data for the next sport plane resource guide, a and went to the Land Sport Aviation Showcase to do some research. One of our video features debuting this week details Titan Aircraft's exquisite T-51 partial scale P-51 Mustang sport plane. The T-51B is a light sport capable fixed gear version of the T-51D, the retractable standard kit configuration. Either aircraft can be fitted with a series of engines ranging from the 100 horsepower Rotax 912S, a 245 horsepower Honda V6, a 300 horsepower GM LS3 V8, or the top of the line BMW V12 in the works. Check it out. That does it for today's Turp Around the Patch. Now as we turn to the rest of the news, famed Tuskegee Airmen turns 102. Joint Base San Antonio, Texas held an event as part of its year-long celebrations for the Air Force's 75th anniversary, congratulating former Tuskegee Airman Brigadier General Charles E. McGee on his 102nd birthday. The 12th Flying Training Wing treated their forebear to a heritage tour of their new equipment, including a T-1A Jayhawk, bearing his name. Following the tour, McGee took the opportunity to review his career with members of the media and 99th Training Squadron pilots, after which he and his family completed a practice mission in the T-1A aircraft full motion simulator. The visit concluded with lunch and the presentation of a squadron-made T-7A Red Hawk model painted in his old squadron's livery. The T-7 Red Hawk is the newest addition to the USAF training fleet, selected in September 2018 to replace the venerable but aged T-38 Talon, formerly the Boeing TX. The aircraft is said to become the primary advanced jet trainer for the entire force, with additional developments expected in the vein of the T-38's armed light attack sibling, the F-5. Upon adoption, the Red Hawk received its name in tribute to McGee's original unit, who famously painted their P-51 Mustang's tail red. McGee's career spanned over 30 years with the force, where he obtained the Distinguished Flying Cross with two oak leaf clusters, a Bronze Star Medal, and a promotion to Brigadier General at the age of 100. After these messages, Kentucky Civil Air Patrol air crews flying post-tornado assessment missions. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. Kentucky Civil Air Patrol air crews flying post-tornado assessment missions.
Kentucky Wing Civil Air Patrol air crews are flying storm surveys to assist the National Weather Service and the Kentucky Emergency Management Agency in gauging the official intensities of the Delhi tornadoes that ripped into the Midwest on December 10th. Kentucky Wing air crews carried out a dozen sorties over just a few days, flying nearly 20 hours to provide imagery for the recovery effort in their state. More than 1,200 photos were taken on Sunday, the first day of operations. Acting as a total force partner and as the U.S. Air Force Auxiliary, Civil Air Patrol helps First Air Force rapidly respond to non-military threats domestically in a defense support of civil authorities' capacity to save lives, relieve suffering, prevent property damage, and provide humanitarian assistance. Our thoughts and prayers are with those affected by the tornado devastation, especially during this holiday season, said Air Force Lieutenant General Kirk Pierce, Commander, First Air Force, Air Force's Northern. Civil Air Patrol members routinely train to perform such aerial surveys with federal partners such as the National Weather Service, the Department of Homeland Security, and state and local emergency management agencies. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.